two nights ago <coughs> we mourned for the young daughter of Sayyidul Shuhada and she is known in the books of Masaib uh, in, 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 in history she is known as Sayyida Ruqayya but in the South Asian or Indo-Pak tradition she has come to be known as Sakina and there are some narrations that say that her name may have been Sakina and some say that Imam al Hussein had two daughters he had an older one called Sakina and he used to call Ruqayya sometimes Sukaina because Sukaina is a diminutive it means the little Sakina but the word Sakina comes from tranquility and the reason why Imam al Hussein would have called this child Sakina or Sukaina is because she was not an ordinary child besides being the daughter of an Imam she was extremely extremely intelligent and she understood matters where a four-year-old would not understand and her presence alone brought this Itminan and Sakina to Sayyidu Shuhada <laughs> he used to say I do not like a home in which Rabab and Sakina are not there the Arbab of Azar say that the four-year-old had this habit that every night she would sleep on the chest of her father <laughs> and so she grew to this habit that she could not sleep <laughs> you know when we read the Masaib of Sakina we say that after Karbala this child <laughs> did not drink a lot of water or this child did not eat a lot of food I want to say to you that Sakina did not sleep a lot as well because she could not sleep without her Baba if she slept she slept eventually in the Zindan of Sham you have to think of this rationally from the perspective of a four-year-old a four-year-old who in one day sees her brothers being killed her Ammu Abbas being killed her Baba being killed the head of her father on a spear her earrings being ripped from her ears her dress being burnt being tied in chains in a desert all alone it is simply amazing the degree of Masaib that this four-year-old could take and I've looked at the Musiba of Sakina in many different angles and I've seen that there were three main parts to which this girl suffered extremely and I will not be able to speak about all three I will speak about only one because each one of them is a Masaib in its own <laughs> one was the Masaib of losing her Ammu Abbas and not getting water there is a whole Masaib of how she waited for water and how she never asked for water after Abbas <laughs> she had this deep attachment to her uncle Abbas you know Shaheed Professor Sipta Jafar uh, has this Kalam and this Ash'ar that he reads in Fadail of Abu Fadl al Abbas and you know he begins that by saying Panch Imamo Ka Raha Banke Sahara Abbas and in that he has a line he said Chadare Chinne Pa Yad Aya Har Ek Bibi Ko Chadare Chinne Pa Yad Aya Har Ek Bibi Ko Har Tamache Pe Sakina Ne Pukara Abbas Har Tamache Pe Sakina Ne Pukara Abbas the second Musiba of Sakira was that she had this deep desire to return to Medina <laughs> and you will see that even at the Wida she asked her Baba that before you go can you return me to Medina <laughs> and that itself is a Masaib in itself <laughs> and the third Musiba which was the greatest for her was her attachment to her father <laughs> this Musiba cannot be justified with any amount of Masaib you recite because it was mutual the degree to which Hussein loved Sakina and the degree to which Sakina loved Hussein. 
some of the Arbab of Azar say that when Hussein was leaving for the last time, Sakina was holding the feet of the horse and saying to Sultana, no, take my Baba. But I have read another Riwaya that Sakina thought my Baba will not leave without saying Wida. So if I go and hide myself, then my Baba will not go to the Maidan. So she went and hid behind the tents. And Hussein went around asking, where are you? Ya muhjata qalbi, ya qurrata aini. Oh, the apple of my eyes, where are you? And she came behind the tents and he found Sakina playing with the sand. And he lifted her and said, why are you sitting alone behind the tents, my child? She said, Baba, do not go and make me an orphan. Mir Anis tries to capture this experience. That how did Hussein leave Sakina for the last time? He says, Sakina began saying to her, Baba, Baba, you know I will not be able to sleep without you. Because I sleep on your chest. Neither <laughs> Shabo Egi or Dust me Hamoege, BB Asagar Meresataj, why he so again? Ajurukumalallah Ajurukumalallah. I cannot understand how a four year old on Shami Gariba in the dark of the night where there are dead bodies lying all over, why would a four year old leave? the side of her mother. No four-year-old would have the courage to leave her mother. But look at her attachment to her Baba, that she leaves her mother in a desert all alone, jumping over dead bodies, calling out Baba. <laughs> because she wants to sleep and she cannot sleep without Hussein. <laughs> when Zainab salam finds Sakina, she's holding the feet of a body that has no head. <laughs> and there is a voice saying, Zainab Ahista Ahista My Sakina has finally fallen asleep When Zainab asked her My child How did you know this was the body of your mama? There is no head or clothes on this body She said my aunt Zainab When I came out crying Baba This body was calling out saying Ilayya Ilayya Come to me my child Sleep for one last time. Ajurukum <laughs> Allah. Sakina was taken in chains to Kufa and Sham. Wherever Sakina fell from the camel, the head of Hussein stopped and would not move. Hussein would not leave without Sakina until she came to the Zindan of Sham. In the Zindan of Sham, she would stand beside her brother Sajjad and look out. She would see the birds flying in the evening and say, My brother Sajjad, where are they going? He would say to her, Sakina, it is now evening. They are returning home. She would see little children holding the finger of their father walking home. She would say to her brother Sajjad, when will I go home as well? <laughs> she kept crying for Amu Abbas. Again, Mirani is here tries to capture this loneliness of Sakina in the Zindan of Sham. He says, Jab piyas lagti roke chacha ko pukarti, dukte jokan shahe huda ko pukarti, aata na jab ko hi to khuda ko pukarti, jine se tang hoke kaza ko pukarti, kehti ti na chacha, na imam e umam rahe, rulwale ko adu rahe, rone ko am rahe, khai tamach shimr ki, jab tak ke kha saki sin kam ta dukh bahut na bardash kar saki and on one night when she cried baba and yazid asked why is she crying and she was told the daughter of hussein is crying for her father and he sent the head of hussein to the zindan and sakina saw the head of her father for the first time 
the Arbab of Azar say. She put her cheek near the cheek of her mother who said, First she cried for herself. Abata, Maniladi Aitamani Fistigari Sinni. Baba, who made me yatim at such a young age? Baba, did you not see how Shimru was slapping me? Baba, did you not see my dress was on fire? Baba, did you not see my ears were bleeding? Baba, I kept calling Abu Abbas. He never came. <laughs> then Sakina saw the blood on Hussein's beard. Karima bin Tal Karim. She began crying for her Baba. Abata, Maniladi Kata Abaridak. Baba, who separated your head from your body? Baba, before Shimmer killed you, did he give you any water? Baba, who covered your beard with the blood of your head? She cried, Baba, Baba, until she fell asleep. When Imam Sajjad moved her, he rose crying, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. The ghassala came, the dress of Sakina was burnt and attached to her body. She could not remove the dress. She asked Sajjad, did this child have a disease? I cannot remove the dress from the wounds on her body. No, Ghassala, leave her. I will bury her the way she is. When this Qafila returned to Karbala, Zainab came to the Zindan. She threw herself on the cover of Sakina. Betty, you wanted to go to Medina. Wake up, Sakina. It is time to go to Medina. My child, I go back to Karbala. Your Baba will ask me, Zainab, where is my Amana? Wow, Zaina. Wow, Gariba. Mata, where was I?